Man, why, why is your car so dirty, man? Why don't you take a minute to clean it up, all right? This is disgusting. I don't know how you're living like this. I live next to you every day. Great job. Now he's broken another way. <laughs> all right, so this is not a magic trick, all right? You look at the hood, there's no other car, no jump starts. Check this out. Ooh. And it starts right up. Oh yeah. So I went ahead and left the car on. I left it running for what, an hour or two? And it's all charged up and I am feeling good. No more jump starting, no more worrying about the battery. We're good, life is good. But I still need to fix this little radio thing. Uh, I don't know how you're gonna jam out to Drake's new album, Scorpion. Yeah, right. Travis Scott's new album. I don't know how you're gonna jam out with this. So, I mean, it still works. I mean, just not aesthetically pleasing. Kind of like your face, but. That's rude. <laughs> Unnecessary. A lot of people in the comments say, bro, why are you so mean? Like, why you call her a peasant? You're a peasant. Yeah. I, I don't right. actually mean it, bro. It's like, we're, we actually get along pretty well. So. Hashtag team peasant. <laughs> I know, so. I'm not actually mean to her in real life. She understands my humor, so. No, chill I out. don't. He's really mean. Just chill out. One thing you should know about this car is that it looks fast, but it's not fast, all right? I don't want you to be that person trying to race other fast cars because you think you have a fast car. Don't worry, I'll, I'll race the minivans. <laughs> yeah, race the minivans, race the, I guess, Honda Civics, the Toyota Priuses. Don't try to race any V8s, you're definitely gonna lose. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Should I just leave it running? I'm scared <laughs> that if I turn it off, it's not gonna turn back on. I have faith, man. I have faith in this Mustang. It's taking me from Texas to Nashville, Tennessee, Tennessee to South Carolina, back to Texas and then all the way here. Man, this car's been through a lot. So, don't let me down, buddy. Risky choice. The low is the below. <laughs> Did you put $10? Yeah, bro. Not bad. It's running pretty strong, actually. No complaints here. All right, so I've been getting a lot of questions saying, bro, what happened to the V6? Bro, when are you gonna start modding the V6? Because I know there are a lot of people who have a V6 or a 99 through 04 GT, and they're asking me, bro, when are you gonna do this? When are you gonna do that? When are you gonna start tripping out the V6? And, bro, I know. So in the last video, I said that I was gonna just hold off on the Mach 1 and start working on this. Because after I finish this, I am 99.7% sure that I'm gonna be heading back to Dallas after this. So I'm giving myself about three months to finish this and then whoop, I'm out of here. I've already been looking at apartments and all that stuff and I'm getting pretty excited, honestly. So three months, four months, November, October, that's the deadline for me. So if everything goes well, I'll be back in Dallas by then. But anyways, man, buddy, we're missing a window. I'm not gonna go into the details of that happen, but we're gonna be going to the junkyard either Thursday or Friday. We're gonna be picking up a new window. That way I can finally wash the car and get it all detailed and get the paint at least looking decent. I mean, when the sun hits, you're not looking at like a bunch of swirls and stuff. I know your face is already like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, and oh, speaking of hiding your face, we also need to get some window tint on there. I don't want any people looking at you. I'm trying to protect others. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah, so it's not because of you. I'm distracted by my beautiful face. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try to go ahead and do 5% all around. Well, 5% in the rears with maybe 15, 30% in the front. It's going to be pretty dark at night, so hope you have your prescription up to date for us. <laughs> yeah, that's what you have glasses on too, bud. Yeah, the Ray-Bans and... And you have contacts too. And Six eyes. There's... Yeah, Words right. hurt, bro. Words <laughs> hurt. <laughs> but moving on to the front, as you can see, that thing, I'm actually pretty happy with how that thing looks. I mean, it looks super mean. Most people will probably think it's a GT, but no, it's a V6, so... Sorry, buddy. I already went ahead and ordered some fog lights, at least a wiring harness to get these fog lights to work. If you guys don't know, the bullets and the V6s do not come with fog lights, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to wire them, and it's super easy. Right here is the really important part for me, and at least for you. Right now, we're rocking the 17-inch bullet wheels, and these things are garbage. I already have the late model restoration wheels in the garage, but all I need to finish that are the tires. Unfortunately, I have been looking, but man, those things are expensive, man. I'm trying to go back to Dallas like in three to four months and I can't be spending like 600, 800 bucks on tires. Performance tires on a car that doesn't perform. <laughs> so I've been trying to fill out forms for sponsorship. I've been looking at Toyo, Falcon. 
all these big tire companies so hopefully if that goes through we'll be picking up some tires when we mounting these when you're a good youtuber you don't ask for sponsorships they ask you <laughs> man i had such big plans for the rear of this car honestly want to do like a celine wing like you know the wing that kind of sticks out like that the one you didn't like i thought it would look so cool but then i started looking at more pictures of it on facebook and stuff and i was like you know what bro doesn't look that good <laughs> i told you yeah you I don't it listen good, to me it doesn't so we're just gonna go ahead and See, clean, get that cleaned up so you don't think you open your eyes <sighs> anyways and for the haters out there <laughs> <laughs> no this is not happening Hey. And that's basically it for the Mustang. I know it seems like a lot of little things here and there, but trust me, it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some money. Luckily, my sister is gonna help contribute to that, so. Yeah, all right, buddy. Nice try. <laughs> but that's about it. And fortunately for the Mach 1, I think, I think it's done for mods right now. Like I said, I wanted to get it tuned, but I really don't wanna beat this car up too much. I mean, a lot of people are saying, oh, Ricer, you ruined it. You should have kept it stock. And Bro, if, you're, if you really think that car looked better stock than it does right now, bro, you, you need to get, you need to go to the doctor. You need to get something checked, man. You're lying to yourself and you know it. Yeah, you're lying, man. Dude, if you honestly think that that car looks, oh my gosh, dude. I don't even know what to say to that, man. Some people saying, oh, dude, it's not going to hold up its value when you're going to try to sell it. And honestly, I've never mentioned me selling the Mach 1 in any of my videos. Like, I never plan on selling it. Like, the Mach 1, that's my baby right there. And, Honestly, I could have like a Bugatti in the garage and I'd still have the Mach 1. Like, I could be a millionaire and I'll still keep the Mach 1. Mm, too bad that's never gonna happen. You know, a kid, a kid <laughs> likes to dream, you know? I never plan on selling the Mach 1, so if that's what you're thinking about, that's what you're worried about, don't worry, bro. It's not, it's not going anywhere, so even if this car is worth a million bucks, it's still staying here. Actually, Dallas, I'm not staying here. But anyways, guys. <laughs> This is where I'm going to go ahead and end the video. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. But anyways, guys, thanks so much. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. And shout out to the peasant for having a cool car and letting me modify it. Peace.